Today I'm going to be moving some plans. You know those situations when you keep on saying to yourself, oh, I have to move this plan, I have to move this plan, and all of a sudden, five years later, they're all still in exactly the same position where they were before, and you're thinking, fuck, it's too late now. Anyway, this year, I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to move a hibiscus from the front of the garden to the back of the garden, because it's not going to, it, bleh, because it doesn't do that well on the front. And... I keep on rambling on about like, the transformation of my front garden. Well, it has not transformed into anything. It still looks like shit. So right now I'm going to be moving the hibiscus to a place where you used to have a plum tree where owned that and that fucking thing only have had one plum, literally. So I cut that down and used it as Christmas decorations. Let's, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So as I said, transformed, it has not. It still looks like shit, but that's the hibiscus that's going to have to come out because it's in the wrong position. right there so this is where the plum tree was and you know so I don't know how big the roots gonna be but let's find out so I'm gonna have to take the root out so for this I'm gonna be using my slammer tool so this time of the year is actually a great time or the best time to move trees because clearly then the dormant period and with hibiscus also if you move them now even if you don't move them you should prune them right now because the flowers are only growing on the new growth so you know what chop 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 and then all of a sudden boof, they look beautiful well at least i hope so and also if you move them right now then they still have time to establish a little bit before you yank anything out of a hole you have to prepare a hole to put it in so you know what let's do it that way let's get that root out I love using the slammer tool, not just to split my bamboos and shit, but also for this. I'm going to cut through the roots and then trying to lift it out because I cannot tell you how many spades I have lost. Not lost, damaged, kaput, broken, because of unwillingness of the plant to come out of the ground. Anyway, so yeah, I have a review of the slammer tool on my channel. Have a look at that. If I would know how to do it, I would link it, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> By the way, if anybody knows of an easier way or better way to get rid of tree roots, PM me. Let me know. Oh, honestly, I seem to be lapsing from one heart attack job to another here. <laughs> Who knew it takes such a big ass fucking root to grow one, but one fucking plum. There you go. So now I have to clean up the hole for the next thing to go in. You want to have a clean hole. I cleaned up the hole, ready to receive. And now I'm going to go to the front and get the thing out. Obviously some of the spring flowers are coming up, so I'm trying not to trample all of them, but you know what? It's the casualty of war or gardening if I trample them. That was easier than taking candy from a child these days. Trust me, I've tried. Into the hole it goes. So it's all in the back of the garden now, <clears throat> and now it's just going to be the case of dumping it in the hole. I like to try it first for size, so, you know, lift it in, have a look if I have to lift it up a little bit, you know, the soil on the bottom of the hole, and then just, you know, dump it in, close it off, water it, and we're done. So I always like to put a little bit of water in the bottom of the hole because I think you should put the plant into something moist. You know, a wet hole is a good hole. So I'm going to continue to water it now until I put about, I don't know, 10, 15 litres onto it. And, you know, I do that in stages because I don't want to go everywhere and all of a sudden, like, that deep is wet and the rest is not anyway. You know what I'm talking about. That's it. It's getting windy. I'm sweating like there's no tomorrow. Gardening is a very wet business. What, move what you need to move, not that you're going to be looking at it at the beginning of the season going, fuck, I didn't do it again. Let's try to break the cycle. I've got a few move, a few other things, but not today because my back hurts. Old fucker. So yeah, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye.